Hello, everyone, and welcome to Battle of the Supercars. I'm Lee Rearman. We're at Les Circuit Mont Tremblant in Quebec for our own very special Ferrari driving experience. It's all Ferraris all the time as our two masters become the pupils as we challenge their driving skills in the newest front and mid-engine masterpieces from Marinello. It's the quick and beautiful 458 Italian. The nimble and powerful 599 HGTE. The sporty and versatile California. And the swift F1 inspired 430 Scuderia. We the roads north of Montreal are perfect for driving beautiful supercars from the Ferrari Driving Experiences Precision Driving School at Le Circuit Mont Tremblant. Instructors from the Ferrari Driving Experience have designed a series of challenges for our two pro drivers. Now, you're with instructors here from the Ferrari Driving Experience. Do you feel like they got you on a little bit of a tight leash? Uh, no, they're having to sit right seat in the car, which I don't envy ever for anybody to have to do. But they know the, the roads, they know where the police are hanging out, which is awfully <laughs> nice. Ultimately, we are the judges and the jury. We are rating your performance, and I'm not above bribes. You and Paul are going to be in the same cars. It's going to be all about driver. Does that intimidate you? I think that's awesome. Finally, I get to uh, stick it to Paul in the same car. Paul has yeah, gotten much more road car yeah. savvy. It doesn't discount from the fact that he can be a complete Tanner is in the synchronized swimming category of motorsports and drifting. It's really impressive, though. It still doesn't take away from the fact that he's kind of a nerd. Oh. Paul, what makes the Ferrari so special? Well, when you look at a supercar, this is the standard. This is the godfather. This is the beginning and the end of supercar. These love to be driven fast, you know? So there's nothing that can compare to the engine note of the Ferrari. If you were to patent a sound of an engine, this is it. Now, Paul, you're going to have some of the instructors from the Ferrari driving experience kind of evaluating you. Does that uh, intimidate you a little bit? I'm going to give them some instruction. How do you get it out of automatic mode? Uh, here, right here. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the, uh, the coaches have to say because I know that I'm pretty uncoachable. You can't get anything through my thick head. You're an instructor here. This is your home turf. What's it like to have Paul and Tanner up here? It's a little alarming, but uh, <laughs> I think we, we've gotten all the pieces together to try to contain the problem, I mean, situation. Well, if you want to give them a spank, and you have my permission. Tanner and Paul's first weapon is the Ferrari California. This 2 plus 2 Gran Turismo has a retractable hardtop and is propelled by a mid-front mounted 4.3 liter direct injected V8 engine putting a smooth 453 horsepower to the rear wheels through a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. The Californias are ready to go. It's round one, a test of reaction time, set on a straight section of Le Circuit Mont Tremblant. We call this first event Break and Avoid. We're going to have you from a standing start, accelerate to 50 miles an hour. I'm going to have a little flag there. You're going to go right or left, stop in the box, and then the Ferrari instructors are going to evaluate your performance. Now, you're in the same car. How are you going to beat Paul? That means you're going to have to follow instructions. So Paul's out on that for sure. And you're probably begging on the fact that Paul doesn't know how to stop, right? Yeah, he hits stuff all the time. Tanner says he's got you in this event because you don't know how to stop. Well, let me tell you something, Lee. This event could turn into a uh, hit and run with my fist in Tanner's face if he keeps mouthing off. Tanner's in the Silver California. Up to speed. Break and avoid. He's in the box. To my eye, it looks clean. Stand by everybody, Paul's coming. Paul in the red California is on track. Up to speed. And, whoa, something's weird. Is that right? You started slowing down before you turned. <laughs> All right, I'll do it again. I need to redo it because I cheated. Paul gets another chance. Remember, Paul, break and avoid. Oh, there goes the cone. You were late. Remember, it's the opposite lane from the flag. Paul goes into the wrong lane, and now he accuses me. Third and last chance. He's on course, and Paul's in the correct box. Whew. Okay, Jeff. Who won? 
I think it's a pretty resounding victory for Tanner in this one. Paul had three chances. What was that all about? Yeah, on the first try, Paul got a little bit eager and break too early and cheated the system, so that one was thrown out. On the second try, I think he called you out. You were late. You know, I don't see how that's possible. The third try, I think we were good to go on that one, and Tanner still had him in stopping distance. Okay, Tanner, you took the victory, but Paul calls it a fix. He's just not used to this judging thing. You gotta make sure that you grease the palms a little bit, and that's what? That's how it works. It was uh, really just a matter of uh, watching Lee's elbow and when he got a twitch, just uh, remember to go the opposite direction. Okay, Paul, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The Ferrari judges give the victory to Tanner. Not only that, they said first you cheated, then you were a little bit of a crabby. Well, based on what? Now, where do they come up with the numbers on this? What's the numbers? Give me the numbers. They said that Tanner's breaking distance was obviously shorter than yours. They got a tape measure on that? Subjectively, not by data, Tanner visually stop shorter i gotta call bs on this one whatever paul tanner chalks up the first point on the michelin battle of the supercar scoreboard after his win in the break and avoid event in round one tanner leads our competition one zip after his break and avoid win in round one in round two tanner and paul get ready to put their car control skills to the test Ferrari driving experience instructors have set up the figure eight course on a wet skid pad where Paul and Tanner must keep their cars in an oversteer situation all the way around. In this event, Paul and Tanner drive identical Ferrari 599 HGTEs. The beautiful Ferrari 599 could be the ultimate GT car and in HGTE trim, it handles even better especially in aggressive driving situations. The front-mounted V12 engine makes well over 600 horsepower and shifts through its F1 super-fast automated manual transmission. Tanner, the figure eight skid pad, all about car control. This is right in your wheelhouse, isn't it? Car control is what I like to do. I like to slide cars. So you would think this would be in my backyard, but you know, Paul's been uh, racing cars for a long time. All right, Paul, Tanner was sandbagging a little bit. You have to give the advantage to him on this figure eight skid pad, right? Obviously, you got a lot of power and a lot of torque and doing a figure eight, not so much going around in a circle. It's gonna be quite tricky. But he's a drifter, doesn't that intimidate you? Not really, no. <laughs> Never thought I'd be drifting in a Ferrari, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Tanner is on course in the silver 599 HGTE. These cars are good for 200 miles per hour. Here, the judges will keep watch on his transitions between loops of the figure eight course. Looking smooth now, Mr. Drifter. Get offline here, and you lose it. Whoa, Tanner spins. Hey, Tanner, the three sessions over, son. Paul's local knowledge is no advantage in the figure eight. Through the transitions into the loop. Uh-oh, PT spins it. Back on the gas. It looks like he's thrown out the oversteer and is going for pure speed in the wet. And he's done. Okay, LP, who won? We have to say Tano won. We really wanted the driver to keep the car sideways into an oversteer situation all the way around the figure eight. Uh, Paul tried to keep more speed going around, and it was not exactly what we wanted. Now, do you want to tell Paul or should I? I think you should. Okay, Paul, you lost. The Ferrari guys were judging on car control. I was really just kind of going for lap time and not so much sliding, so I'd, I'd give it to Tanner. That whole drifting thing is Tanner's thing. He likes to slide and throw the car around. That's uh, not my scene. All right, Tanner, you spun out a couple of times, but they're giving you the victory. It was really tricky, I have to be honest. I couldn't see a thing in the sprinklers and you know the lights inside. It was really hard to do, and uh, very cool to, to take Paul down and you know, put a nail in his coffin. Tanner nails up his second point on the Michelin Battle of the Supercar scoreboard after his win in the figure eight event in round two.
Welcome back to Battle of the Supercars in Quebec, Canada. When the Les Secui Mont-Tremblant isn't hosting our program, it's home to the Ferrari Driving Experience, where participants challenge the 2.65-mile, twisty 15-corner circuit. There are plenty of elevation changes and high-speed sections to accommodate our Battle of the Supercars drivers. Tanner leads our driver competition to zip after his win in the Break and Avoid event, driving the Ferrari California, and the Figure 8 Skid Pad Challenge in the 599 HGTE in Round 2. Round three is the lead and follow event where Paul and Tanner chase each other around the 1.53 mile northern loop of the track in two mid-engine 458 Italias. The Italia's direct injected V8 makes the neck straightening 127 horsepower per liter. It's engineered for quick handling, slick aerodynamics, and maximum efficiency. Shifts are lightning fast with the seven-speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. Paul, what a treat it must be to drive this 458 on a track you've been on many times before. Walk us through it. To get behind the wheel of this brand new Ferrari Italia, you're living a charmed life. Pretty, uh, pretty thrilling day. Tanner, you're one of the first people in North America to drive this 458. What do you think? I mean, how awesome is that? I mean, the car is one of the more striking cars I think that Ferrari has ever produced. All right, let me get to the real issues here. These are pretty prized possession of the Ferrari driving experience here. So when you get somebody like Paul Tracy with his reputation and a track like this, as threatening as it is, stuff happens. Ferrari driving experience instructors judge how Paul and Tanner dissect corners and accelerate on the straights. The smoothest fast line around wins our lead and follow event. Our Italias are on the attack. Paul is in the red and Tanner in the yellow. With Paul taking the lead, Tanner has got to keep pace with and just follow the Canadian who knows every inch of asphalt. Get too far behind and he can't follow the leader. Let's switch it to race mode and see if we can feel the difference here. Boy, it really reacts well to smooth brake release. Let Tanner lead for a little bit here. It's Tanner's turn in front. But when Paul is behind you, the pressure is on. Pick the wrong line, and you lose a lot of speed. He's got a little bit of slow entry. Tanner has got it going now. Uh, whoa. I just showed Tanner a little bit of the what's up. And that's it. Back to the pits. Amazing track. Awesome cars. J.F. Tanner Faust is a rally car guy and a drifting guy, which means he's either going through the woods or killing tires. What do you think about having him behind the wheel of the 458? He did a good job on a circuit that he didn't know. Uh, I think it was a bit rough with a brake, over breaking a few areas. Too much curve there, maybe, a little bit. Now, they didn't get too close for your comfort? At uh, one time, maybe. LP, you observed Paul Tracy driving this 458. What'd you think? From a Formula car driver, sometimes you think he's going to be more aggressive with the car, and actually he did really well and been really smooth with the steering wheel and smooth with the uh, throttle and the brake. You can definitely feel this car has over 500 horsepower. It's still a little bit understeer. But these cars are like your babies. And it didn't scare you at all to have Paul Tracy out there going well over 100 miles an hour? No, he had smooth hands and it was, you know, listening to the car, which is really important. For me, it was old hat. This is a track that I've raced on since I was 16 years old. Tanner's never been here before. It was a perfect day. Well, despite his superb handling of the 458 Italia, we will have to mark down Tanner for early braking compared to Paul's smooth, fast lines. Paul's experience on this track is rewarded with a win in the lead and follow event. Paul is making a comeback. However, Tanner leads the Michelin Battle of the Supercar scoreboard. Two events to one after round three. Welcome back to Battle of the Supercars at the Ferrari Driving Experience at Circuit Mont Tremblant in Quebec. Instead of a matchup of different cars, Paul and Tanner are doing battle in identical Ferraris. Tanner leads this driver challenge two to one with wins in the break and avoid and figure eight events. Paul showed his prowess of the fast track and took the lead and follow event in round three. In round four, we have a time trial, a tough handling test, 
measured by a video V-Box that integrates video, GPS data, and timing in each car. It's twice around a tight 2,350-foot course in identical red Ferrari 430 Scuderias. The 430 Scuderia is a track superstar in a lightweight package, 508 horsepower, and a super fast two semi-automatic transmission. Tanner, next up the time trial, 5,500 feet from start to finish, 10 turns. We're putting you both in the 430 Scuderia. What's your strategy? You just got to go hard. It's a very tight track, very capable car, and uh, Paul's strangely good at these kinds of things. He shouldn't be, but I'm going to have to be on my game either way. I think the trick is going to be, one, to listen to some instruction for the guys that know the track and have been living here for a while, and two, I get that power to the ground as efficiently as possible. Paul, next is the time trial, putting you in the Scuderia. What's your strategy? Well, this is a pretty tricky little track. It's almost the size of a go-kart track, so it's going to be really important to be smooth, technical, not slide the car too much. This is a little bit of Tanner's specialty. This is what he does in Rallycross and X Game, but uh, I'm going to give it everything it's got. Up first is Tanner. Drifting is not going to do it here. Love the sound of the Scuderia. He's got momentum around the tight turns. This little course seems to be Tanner's kind of track. On the gas in the straight. Last tight left. And right. Oh, he's cut the curb tight. On the brakes. Yes, it's red, but this time it's Paul on the course. Right over the top of the rumble strip. It's not so much nerves of steel that count, it's precision. Paul is charging the corners. On the gas, down the straight. Whoa, tight on the last left. Right, and on the brakes. Well, I am impressed. While Paul looked quick, it's Tanner that takes down Mr. Tracy. Paul, in the time trial, you finished a second and a half slower wow. than Tanner. Today just wasn't your day, buddy. No, today was a bit of an off day. Obviously, uh, you know, a lot of the little things we did here weren't really what I typically do, and cuts pretty deep to get beat in your home country, and I don't like that at all. All right, well, let's talk to the winner. Tanner, you won by a second and a half here in the time trial. You won the day big time. You thinking about moving up here to Canada? Well, it's a beautiful place, and of course, the Ferrari driving experience. I mean, what an amazing uh, thing they've got up here. But now I can't wait to get back to the States, you know, take my trophy and, and Paul's pride with me. The Michelin Battle of the Supercar scoreboard final tally is a three to one win for Tanner, no doubt, due to his skill on tight technical courses. With long courses and fast turns, the results might have been reversed. Yeah, you know, today wasn't my day, but overall we got to uh, drive some fantastic cars. I got to introduce Tanner to one of the greatest racetracks that there is in probably North America.